Okay, so the next one says, hello, everyone. I'm new here, rapid fire questions. First, what are all those Chrome extensions that you use? Uh, well, they're various and some of them are just for show. No, <laughs> uh, LastPass, book, uh, Xmarks, which is like my bookmarks. Um, that one's a color grabber or it's called Colorzilla, but that's just so I can, um, you know, if I've got to match a color when I'm creating something, um, then I, it just tells me what the, you know, what do they call it? The hex value of the color is or whatever, so I can match that up. Um, I've got BitLink, which just does short, you know, a lot of the times when I'm taking notes on stuff that I'm researching, I'll just grab the URL and this just creates a short link. Um, that's Pocket. So it's like another, it's like a, it's a content bookmarking site. Uh, so we use it on our syndication networks, actually, our IFTTT syndication networks. So I, I actually use Pocket to kind of group content together for things that are useful for me. Um, that's Google Tag Manager. Tag manager or tag, excuse me, Google tag man, tag assistant, which helps you to figure out if you've got your tag manager tags set up correctly on landing pages and conversion tracking, remarketing pixels, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's, that's something I use a lot. Um, that's my Google Hangouts plugin. I've just, I've got a ton of stuff up here, guys. Uh, obviously, this is a really cool one. This is called Link Gopher. And that one's great if you're trying to extract all the URLs of a web page. All you got to do is, um, again, it's called Link Gopher Chrome extension. Um, all these are free, I believe. Um, but that's really good because you just click that and it will open up in a new browser window or new tab, essentially, with all of the URLs just all in one place on that, you know, basically line by line with different URL on each line. So it's great when you're trying to build, uh, you know, like link target lists and things like that. So those are always really good. I mean, I could go on and on and on, guys, but that's I've got, you know, just a bunch of stuff on here that I use pretty regularly. And that's why they're up there. Some of them are really I don't use that much anymore. Like that's an email address finder. Um, open graph preview they have for social media posts and things like that. But anyways, I've, I've gave you gave you a few of the ones that I use most most often. Um, like one thing I want to recommend, though, is don't you know, it might look like I've got a lot of them, but one of them I still got up there is Webinar Jam, and we haven't used Webinar Jam in forever. <laughs> I could probably get rid of that one. Um, is you don't want to, like, I know that some, make sure it's a trusted Chrome extension, because a lot of times if, you, if it's something that's rather new, uh, they can cause like issues with your browser or make stuff not work properly. And um, so just keep that in mind. Very much like what I was talking about WordPress stuff. If, you, if you're trying out a brand new extension that doesn't have much of a history, just be aware that it could cause funny, funny things to happen while you're browsing. So look to see if they've been around for a bit.